Are we live? I think we're live. All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Carly Myers, and this is, drumroll, the Stress Less Career Show, where each week I hop on here, we talk, and we talk about career and how do we manage stress in our career, and how do we be more strategic about it. So um, I do this every single week, but a little bit more about me, right? You want to know who the talking head is? I'm Carly Myers. I am the founder of Work You Love. And what I do is I help people who are overworked, who are overwhelmed, who are on the verge of burnout, find more joy. What does that mean? It means reduce stress and build a career that they are excited about and proud of. And so today, this month, actually, this month's topic is purposeful planning. So last last week, we talked about intention. How do you create your intention? Why is it important to have an intention in your career? And today, we're going to be talking about your purpose versus your calling. I know this is big picture stuff, but it's incredibly important in order for you to be able to move forward on the, the hit the ground running type of planning. So purpose versus calling, what are the differences? So I believe every single person has one purpose. Right. So that purpose might be to help people in need. It can be vague. Your purpose can be vague. All right, guys, it doesn't have to be some crazy specific. I only help people in this type of situation. Right. It can be I just help women. It can be, you know, I'm here to spread the word about um, women's reproductive health. You know, like what is it? I'm just giving out you know, examples. But what is your purpose? So for me, my purpose is to help people with stress, anxiety, and overwhelm, right? I could do that in so many different ways. I could be a personal assistant and help someone with their stress, anxiety, and overwhelm, right? So your purpose is this overarching thing. Why were you put on this planet? And your calling is the way in which you fulfill your purpose. So I believe each person, and Sparky is moaning at, at this one here, Each person has one singular purpose, and each person also has an infinite amount of callings. This is why I'm a firm believer that, you know, it doesn't, it's not the end of the world if you switch jobs. In fact, it's probably a good thing because you're growing and you're, you have more than one calling to pursue. So if my purpose is to help people who are overwhelmed, who are stressed, who are filled with anxiety then I could do that, like I said, by being a personal assistant. I could be a college admissions counselor. They're anxious about their future. I could help them with their anxiety about their future, right? I could do the work that I'm doing now as a coach, as a career and stress management coach. I could, goodness gracious, what else? I could do laundry for people. I hate doing laundry, right? How can you help with, I could be a therapist. There are so many different ways in which I could fulfill my purpose. And those things are called callings. Um, so what I want each and every each and every one of you to think about this week in terms of planning for 2019, because we're still in January, we're still in resolution season, blah, 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 resolution, right? But January is planning time. In fact, we probably should have done it last month, December 2018. Now, if you're watching this video later, you're not watching it in January 2019, that is fine. This is still, I cannot you know, stress enough how relevant this is still to you. First, you know, revisiting the last video when I'm really talking about intention, right? What is your intention for the next year? And then sitting down and today thinking about what is my purpose? What is the the, the vague, and I'm going to put that in quotes, right? What is the vague reason that you're here? Were you, were you put on this earth you know, to help feed people. That could be a thing. Like you could be a chef. You could, what were you put on this earth to do? Right? So that's your purpose. What is your purpose? Now you might have to do some journaling. You might have to talk to some friends. What are you good at? Right? What do they think? Figure out your purpose. And it, it, and I cannot stress enough how it doesn't need to be specific. And then from that place of knowing your purpose, determine the infinite amount of, you don't have to sit there for months and years and days, but you know, get a good list of 10, you know, at least, you know, five to 10 callings that you could pursue. And if you're in a calling right now, that's phenomenal. 
So how can you fulfill your purpose even more so if you're in your calling? So determine your purpose, determine your five to 10 callings and how you could, that means how you could fulfill your purpose. And then I will see you guys next week for the next subject, which is drum roll, the importance of planning. We're going to be talking about how to hit the ground running in terms of planning, how you're going to be able to move forward on that so that 2019 can and will become your year. So thank you guys so, so, so much for having me um, in your news feeds, on your phones, on your computers, however you're watching this. And if you haven't heard it today, you're beautiful, you're smart, and you can do absolutely freaking anything if you put your mind to it. All right. I will see you guys later. And I love you. Love you. Love you so much. See you next week.